Hey everybody, welcome back to The Couch. I'm Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. On my channel, I give tips and tricks for new moms to help them get off the couch and into life. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you my postpartum body. Let's get into the video. I wonder if it's gonna interrupt the sound. I'm gonna pull up Monica. <laughs> what do you know? It's a treat for the eyes and the ears. So before we get into it, I just want you to know that we are gonna be talking about things like my weight. I'm gonna tell you my number, how much I actually weigh, and I'm gonna just talk about what's been happening with my body since having my third baby. And that might be a little bit triggering to some of you, and if it is, I do not wanna cause you any mental distress. Protect your health, protect your mental health, and do what is best for you. So I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there because I know that when we talk about body, body image, weight gain, weight loss, especially coming from skinny, um, bony, you know me, <laughs> it might be a little bit much for some people to listen to and handle and I just want to be mindful of that. I know that I am skinny by some standards but I am also unhealthy by many standards as well. So if you're cool to ride with me on this one, go ahead and continue watching and now is a good place to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up too. Right away, I'm gonna talk about my different categories. It's I'm gonna go through my whole body. I'm gonna talk about my hair, my skin. I'm gonna talk about my body in terms of my build and things like that. And I'm also gonna touch a little bit on my emotional well-being as well and kind of give you everything that's been going on since I've had my third baby. Now I know that I am three months postpartum and most people do a body update right at the beginning after they just had the baby, usually around the four to six week mark, just because that's when you're gonna see the most changes. However, I was not ready to do that. I was not comfortable in my body. I'm still working on being comfortable in my body. And now I'm at a place where I can talk about it. So right now I'm comfortable. Right now I'm a little bit more satisfied than I was maybe a month or two ago. And I still have a long way to go because there's still a lot that I want to work on, not for any other person's standard or any other um, view or mark for what is beautiful or what is sexy or what is desirable, but for my own personal goals, my own personal comfort, and just to feel good about myself and to get back to feeling more like me. I, I like to say get back because I remember a time when I was more comfortable with who I was in terms of how I look and what's happening in my body, but also, I will never truly get back. Who I am now is who I was journeying to become. And I'm not trying to reverse time or, you know, kind of hold on to the past, but I do want to feel more and more like myself and feel more comfortable and confident in the skin that I'm in. With that being said, let's talk about my hair right away. If you're new here, you can't possibly know about the story of my postpartum hair loss journey. But if you're a veteran here, then you know a lot about what has been going on. When I had my son, I had postpartum hair loss. Same thing with Noel. And now with my third baby, I, I'm having it again. Of course, it is a lot sooner than I experienced it the first two times. It is something that I'm hoping will clear up sooner than the last two times as well, so that I won't have to mourn the loss of my hair for too much longer. It is just a really, really hard thing to kind of grasp that your hair is like actively falling out. Of course, I know what to do to regrow it and just to be okay in the process. You can check out the playlist. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I was doing before, but the difference this time is that the texture of my hair is so different. It's so coarse and so hard to manage. I. I'm beside myself. I just don't know where to, to go. It's not retaining moisture like it used to. It doesn't feel the same way. I can barely detangle it. It is so brittle. And I've noticed this, that after I had my third baby, it's just so different and I'm still learning. If you're missing the Friday videos when I just talk about my hair and I do a deep dive into my natural 4C hair, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do have plans to revisit that, but right now, I'm just in the process of relearning it. I don't wanna come prematurely, and I'm doing a whole journey of trying to really, really, really get to know my hair and really feel comfortable wearing it. It's more of a personal thing, so I'm sorry that I haven't brought you on that journey so far, but 
just hold tight maybe something good will come of it and then i can revisit the finally friday but for now i'm still learning about my hair moving right along let's talk about my skin and my body my skin has changed in tone and texture it feels i was just about to say old <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that, but I am getting older and the tone and the texture has changed. I think the tone is more so related to the pregnancy and the texture. I want to attribute that to getting older. I don't know, but I noticed it after the baby was born. The tone, of course, it usually changes because of all the hormones that, you're, you're, that your body is going through and stuff like that. The Linea Nigra is one of those things that really, really comes through on my skin. Um, that's that deep line that goes across your stomach like this. I've talked about it a number of times on my channel. And you will see that it is clearing up. My neck was really, really, really discolored. I don't ever want to come across that the darker my skin is, the more uncomfortable I am. I love dark skin. I am happy that I have beautiful dark skin. However, the changes that my body went through we're not even so I was dark in some areas lighter in some areas and I just look like camouflage and it was uncomfortable for me if you even look back to some of the videos that I filmed right after I had the baby you'll see how discolored my neck is compared to now the discoloration is not all gone but it is clearing up and it I am becoming more evenly toned as far as texture goes I do have to do a little bit more work to exfoliate is that did I say that word properly as far as texture is concerned, I do have to do a little bit more work in terms of exfoliating my skin. When I go to shower, I don't normally use my body scrub, but these days I have to use it often just to make sure that I have softer skin. Sometimes when I do get to shower and you know get my body cleansed and I have a little bit more time, I will do the extra stuff like moisturizing and things like that. But when you have three kids, sometimes you just have to wash yourself off get out and then moisturizing usually comes later I am trying my best to be more mindful of this now especially because I am getting older and you know things like wrinkles I'm, I'm welcoming all of that I'm okay to get older I'm okay to age but I want to do it in the right way and I want to just treat my body as a temple because it is and I want to make sure that I'm doing my part so that I don't rush the process I, I don't mind getting older I actually look forward to one day being a grandma and we'll talk about that some other time oh I remember when my babies were little wee babies little babies that was the best stage the newborn stage you better enjoy it but I don't want to age fast because I'm not taking care of myself. When you're talking about body and your skin, um, I'm gonna just move right into my build, my stature. I have always been between 103 and maybe 108. I've never really gone above that except for when I was pregnant the first time and then consequently, I didn't lose all the weight from my first pregnancy and then now I am at a whopping, and I say whopping because this is the biggest I've ever been not pregnant. I am at 123 pounds and I think four ounces. And that sounds like, okay, whoop de doo big deal. And I get it, um, but 123 pounds is more than I've ever weighed in my entire life not pregnant. And I am 123 pounds and not healthy. I don't make healthy food decisions and I don't normally make healthy activity decisions. Like I, I don't exercise as often as I should. This year I have decided, well, it's not really this year. Since Noel, I've made a conscious effort to, to work my body out a little bit more. You're not gonna see a lot of the weight from when I just had Adelaide because I am actively trying to get it down and I'm doing a 30 day workout challenge with some of my friends and so far the results are great and I am going to continue after the 30 days but I think I'm going to just take it easy a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see when we get there. In terms of my weight, I want to tone the weight that I have, not so much lose it, and I want to become more healthy and make better decisions. So when I was younger, I used to run track and I used to play a lot of sports and I had the body for that. My body was built like, you know, an athletic build, but now it's just gut. 
Like I have a lot of layers of fat on my belly and for me that's just not how I wanna see myself. So I am working on losing the belly fat and toning in certain areas and just making sure that I, I get back to a place where I'm comfortable. I'm working on it and I feel like after the 30 days I'm gonna develop the stamina that I need in order to maintain a healthier lifestyle and to make sure that I move my body a lot more. I do notice that there are cracks in certain places and just going up the stairs is a musical. It sounds very, very loud. <laughs> and I'm, I'm breathing a little bit heavier as well, so I definitely wanna work on that. But I feel like most of that is gonna be internal stuff like drinking water which I'm working on. <laughs> I am drinking more water than I ever have in my life. Thank you, Jesus. I have to drink more water and continuously drink more water and drink less Coke. As I mentioned before, I am getting older and I'm celebrating my birthday at the end of this month on January 26. Hit me up in the DMs and wish me an early happy birthday because I do celebrate all month. <laughs> so go ahead and do that. Hit me up with some comments. Because I am getting older, I do want to make better decisions and just learn my body as I age and give it what it needs when it needs it and don't think that I can just do whatever I want like I did in times before. Postpartum is one of those stages that doesn't end after you've had a baby. Once you've had a baby, you're eternally in the postpartum stage. It can be a roller coaster emotionally and mentally, it can be draining. I just wanna pause for a cause right here and just encourage all of the moms that are parenting in a pandemic. We've been in this mess going on two years and it's tough. It's tough, it's tough. I know how hard it is. I read something the other day that was talking about um, the main message was that it's okay. Whatever it is that you're doing to cope and to maintain and to survive this period, girl, it's okay. Where I was after I had my son and where I am now emotionally are so different, so far apart. Um, with my son, the world was still open. So we were able to do anything. If I felt like I was in the house too long, we can go outside and go to a library, see other people. Now the options are so limited and even if you can do things, it's always with that looming what if, you know, what if we get sick and what if something else happens? I'm doing my best to stay positive, of course. Having kids is one of those things where it works for and against you and I don't mean that my children are ever working against me, but sometimes the overwhelming feeling of being in the house with three kids, three and under in my case, it is taxing and it does feel overwhelming at times, but it's also what keeps me alive and keeps me happy because on the flip side, I have three beautiful kids and if it wasn't for them, I don't know what I would be doing or how I would be getting through this pandemic and, and everything that we're facing. So emotionally, I try my best, of course, to stay positive and to stay optimistic about the future. Something that I always do and what I always would encourage other people to do, I stay connected to God. I read my word, I do my devotions, I am praying, and I'm just giving myself that grace and that time that I need to spend with the Lord because without that, I would be probably a little bit more crazy than I am now. <laughs> so um, in terms of mental health and just emotional well-being, I'm just doing my best. You ask me what I'm doing, I'm just doing my best. And I feel like a lot of us are in the same boat. I don't mean to kind of end the video on that kind of a damper, but I just want to tell you that, girl, you got this and whatever you're doing with your postpartum body to feel more like you, to get more comfortable, to feel more confident, go ahead and do that. If you don't care at all, then you don't care at all. But I would say that as long as you are treating your body right and that you are viewing it as the temple that it is and taking care of it as such, then you'll be all right. Don't worry about weight. Don't worry about the scale don't worry about what other people think don't even worry about social media and all of that stuff none of that stuff matters all that matters is that you are doing what is right for me in a biblical sense for my body for your body you are doing what is right and that you feel good and you feel happy and you feel comfortable and confident so if this video helped you out a bit 
then that's great. <laughs> if it didn't, I'm so sorry that you wasted all your time, but I, I hope that you come back and that you watch another video. Until next time, here are some cool Couch Mom Club videos for you to enjoy. And of course, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the club, ring that bell, do all of the things. Check out my merch, the links will be in the description and follow me on all your favorite social medias. And I will see you in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha.